Hey, Lenny Bash. It's the 3rd of July, 2019. And, you know, I have like 8 million things, once again, to share with you guys. Like the 13 star sneakers and all this tomfoolery we see going on in the world. But after I was going through all these things, I mean, there are just so many things being poured into my spirit. I'm just like going, wow. This is really, really emerging, and, and that's the, the crux of the video I'm doing here, <laughs> is, is this spiritual war is, is coming home to roost. It's emerging into our natural world, and when it finally pops onto the scene, it's going to come with a great deal of chaos, a distraction, and death, and all kinds of crazy stuff are going to come along with this. And one of the most important things I want to point out is this synagogue of Satan Kabbalah garbage, okay? It manifests itself in all these different areas, like the New Age and so on and so forth. They are nothing more than wicked, seducing spirits, okay? And they're trying to get you into their enlightenment trap and convince you that you can attain enlightenment through your works, through your deeds, right? Without the atoning blood of Jesus. Uh-uh. This is Satan himself telling you these things that you can ascend and you can gain eternal life this is all and please read these scriptures because this explains all of this it's the highest important that you recognize this deception threat and it's coming directly from the jews who say they're jews but they're not they lie right down to their flag which is nothing more than representing the elements of fire and water. It's nothing but alchemy, sorcery, and Kabbalah. They live by this. This is their ascension plan, okay? But the God that they're trying to bring into the world comes from the pit, okay? It's just that simple. Be aware. They're going to convince you that your deeds can bring ascension and enlightenment and eternal life and it's a lie just like in the garden did did god say you would surely die right they just want a glory in your flesh you see what i'm saying because they're of their father the devil and it's interesting we can find that very scripture in galatians 6 13 of all places so take heed that your heart be not deceived i'm telling you don't give yourself over to idols and vanity and pride because it's all designed to deceive, which is to seduce holy, beguile, just like the serpent in the garden. Deception. Please read these scriptures. Everything is of paramount importance because this stuff is upon us. This is Satan's beast kingdom about to fully come into play. The new world order. Out of chaos, confusion, and death, because that's what they're bringing up. You already see the chaos. Everyone's already in confusion. What the heck is going on in this world? And if you're not in the spirit of the living God, you are confused and you're being deceived. It's, that's why people perish, is for the lack of this spiritual knowledge. Interesting where we find all these scriptures, isn't it? Luke 23, 46 is the most interesting of them all. When Jesus literally separated the 23 from the 46, this is metaphorical, but he separated and gave up the ghost from the flesh. This is what it's all spelling out. You need to be separate. You need to come out from among them and be separate. You understand? And all this uh, homosexual rebellion and everything is exactly on cue. 1969 was probably one of the most spiritually wicked years. They conjured up so much magic in that year between Apollo and the summer of love, the new love, the grateful dead, so on and so forth. This is what happened 50 years ago. And here we are in another very powerfully spiritually driven year. You can feel it. You can see it. And it's about to just come home to roost. But God is doing his works. And you need to be in him in order to endure and help others through it.
I just pray you know Jesus. I really do. That that Apollo was such a keystone deception. You, you can't even put words to it. The first man mockery. They even made a movie. And of course, our president and our vice president both are absolutely head over heels in love with NASA. They can't get enough NASA. They've mandated them once again to the moon 50 years later. You know what I mean? And everything NASA does is satanic. Everything they name is after a pagan god or some satanic figure. Think about it. Orion, the hunter, or Nimrod, the Tower of Babel, the rebellion. That's what these people are. I'm just telling you, man, they are driven by this spirit of rebellion. I mean, look at this stuff. Apollo's 50th anniversary. If you could just sit here and study the symbology in this thing is off the charts, man. Gigantic deception. Just go read Enoch, man. I mean, you will see exactly who these people are worshiping. These are the gods that you don't want to know. These are fallen ones, man. These are nothing but darkness. You understand? And now we got the 4th of July coming, which there's so much on the 4th of July. It's really hard to even, you know, the 1776 in and of itself, the, the year that was chosen for the United States of America to be born, which happens to be 888 times 2. Now, why do you think it would be born on that year? It's Satan's creation. This it's Satan's had his hands in this country since day one. It's mocking Jesus and just showing you the spiritual war. There it is. There's the battle. Good against evil. And our president happens to have that same gematria. That's weird. And this is our 243rd year, our birthday, right? If you turn that upside down, which is what I was just led to do when I saw this 243 to 342. It's hostility, hatred, enmity, just like God put between the serpent and the woman's seed. And it's interesting that it's Genesis 315. I see that pattern repeating a lot, that 153, the 17, 7, all these things. And of course, in the Greek, it's renewing, as in renewing your mind. Romans, Titus, go read these scriptures, please. And just from the founding of our illustrious country to this fake uh, spiritual mega dumping uh, of evil in the world was 193 years between those two years, which adds up to 13. And the 193 in the Hebrew is to twist, as in DNA unbelievable stuff you guys and it goes on and on and on and i've shown you the usa numerologically is 311 which is a double portion of rebellion essentially it's the rebellion manifest apollyon this is the goal is to get so much wickedness in the same camp that they can release their god from the abyss from the pit i'm not kidding you Trump is speaking at the Lincoln Memorial tomorrow, which is interesting if you just look at the layout of Washington. It goes from the memorial to the reflecting pool, the mirror, right to the Washington Monument, the phallic symbol, as above, so below, right through the mall where the Arch of Triumph sat last year, uh, through the mall to the Capitol Dome. What is in the Capitol Dome but the apotheosis? They become gods. This is their firm belief. I'm just telling you. There's old George. He ascended above the clouds. You see what I'm saying? This is all satanic. All of it. Abraham, this is interesting. Abraham of the Bible was born in 1996 BC. And Lincoln was assassinated in 1865. If you just subtract that from that, you get 131, ironically, which translates to the 311 again. But look at what 131 is in the Hebrew. It's red spots directly from 121, which is Adam, the first man. Back to the Apollo mockery. Unbelievable, man. USA is the rebellion. It's like the leader of Satan's rebellion. Genesis 13, 13. 
the wicked men of Sodom. It's an insurrection and a rebellion. They fully believe that they are already, through their deeds, through their works, they have ascended already, you understand, without the atonement of Jesus' blood. That's crazy, but they believe it. And the churches are not teaching it because they're being destroyed by the 501c3s, which, ironically enough, translates into a nice 153. You see all this stuff? The 1969 in the Greek actually means to rebuke and chastise. Okay? All these scriptures are relevant, you guys, but it comes right from the Greek 4141, which, of course, you can translate to 1414. Again, the rebellion in Isaiah 14. I will ascend above the clouds. And it was interesting that that Russian sub, that something happened, right? 14 perished by fire. That's interesting to me. This is probably one of the most interesting things that, that I want to share with you right here. Again, Abraham was born in 1996 BC. And until Christ, that was three sets of 14 generations. You can find that in Matthew 1, 1 through 17. Okay? So, 1996 years to Christ. Well, if we go from Christ, AD, year of our Lord, to now, think about this, you guys. We, we surpassed the last of the generations at 1996. But now, in 2019, we are 23 years into the last generation. Think about that. That is absolutely crazy and awesome, man. You can't make that up. And all the rest of this stuff, is it's all relevant, you guys. But the bottom line is, great, great deception is upon us. It just is. And without Christ and indwelling the spirit of the living God, you will be deceived. There is only one Savior. Okay? They will offer you all the solutions to all this craziness we see. From climate change to wars to you name it. And it's all a deception, you guys. They just want to lead you to their false gods and beliefs. And they want to be gods over you so that they may glory in your flesh and send your soul to hell i'm just trying to say it the best i can only jesus saves seek him peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 